This video, I will show you how you can install the transition pack for DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. After you download the zip file, you will have the zip file here in your files or downloads order. You just have to click on it and it will extract from the zip file this folder here. You have this folder now with a help file in it for how to install it. You have this Phoenix FX, this, those are basically all the sound effects. And then you have the DRFX file. You can put this folder here, for example, by clicking it and copying it somewhere on your iPad. For example, I have a folder where I have all my video stuff and I could, for example, just drag that one in here if I want, or you have a specific folder. So I paste this one here, Phoenix Transition Pack. And so now what you have to do, this is the important step to make it work. You have to copy the, the Ring Resolve FX file, the DRFX file. So I click on this one. I hit copy and now I go to DaVinci Resolve on my iPad. It's this folder here, DaVinci Resolve. And then I go to Fusion, then I go to Templates. And here under Templates, you basically just paste this Phoenix Transition DRFX file. That's it, restart DaVinci Resolve. So, and when you have restarted it, you have two ways how you can add those transitions. When you are in the cut page, you can just go up here to Transitions. And now when you scroll down under Video Transitions, because we're here in video transitions. When you scroll down, you will see that here with those new icons, all the different transitions from that transition pack are now inside here. If you are on the edit page, you can also add those transitions by going to the effects tab here on the top. And now here you, on the left side, you can go here to video transitions and you will find Phoenix. And the cool part about the edit page is that now you even see all the different folders that I created. So for example, all the glitch effects will be in glitch or the light leaks will be in here. Or for example, here, all the zoom in transitions will be here in that will be here in that one. So if you add footage, so for example, here, this drone shot and this drone shot, you have to make sure if you want to put a transition in between those two clips, I show you this right now. Let's say, for example, here, the zoom in fast. If I take this one now, I can't drag it to the middle. Why? We are already at the end of my clip. So I have to take this one and remove it a bit and the end of that one and remove it a bit. And now if I put them to each other, now I can drag it down and it will realize that this is a transition. You can do this. You can also, if your playhead is located here, so the next arrow here, you can also just double tap on it and it will add this transition. Or for example, if you're here in the cut page, you can also use this one. That's the default add transition, which also will bring it here to this arrow. So click and you have it there. But not only that, you can also, if you drag it, you can also just drag it to the end of a clip or the beginning of a clip, like this one. So you can always cha change where you wanna have it. If you wanna change the duration, because some of the clips, for example, the here the zoom in slow will need more time. But all of those always come in the default time. For example, that's one second at the moment. So for example, if I drag the slow one, I also have to extend this one here a bit. You can do this by just grabbing the end or you can select this one and go to the inspector and you will have this new icon here for transitions and you can change the duration of this transition also by changing that one here. So one more thing, some of those transitions have pivot points. That means, for example, now I'm zooming in exactly in the middle. Let's say you don't wanna zoom in in the middle. Let's say you wanna zoom in somewhere here. What you can do is you can open the inspector and then, for example, go down here under the transitions and change the pivot point. If you change the pivot point, for example, X, I will move it to the right or to the left or I, with Y, I can go up and down. So if I go down up, you just have to be careful. Don't go up too much. Then you will see the end of the screen coming in and then, then it doesn't look good anymore. But I can go as far up, like, for example, when this one just came in here. And so now my pivot point will also change for the zoom where I'm zooming into my image. You see that? One more thing. Now I'm going to the edit page. Some of those transitions need more power. If you want that your transitions are more smooth, open the project settings here and go to the general options. And here under render cache, use smart and say save. Now this setting is only now for that one project, not for all projects. And now you see that we have this red line here. So what it does now, it renders a cache file just for that transition. And when it's done, when it's blue, we have a smooth uh, experience by viewing it. So now I can just hit play 
and I see the transition. So for adding the sound effect, there's two ways how you can add the sound effect. Number one, you can open Fairlight because DaVinci Resolve has a sound library. And if you add any of the sound effects to that sound library, you have access to the sounds all the time in every project. You don't have to add them again. So for example, if you want to add this to your sound library, you go here on the three dots and say add library. And now we have to go to the position where our sounds are located. So in that case, I placed all my Phoenix transitions here, transition pack, and now I can just select that folder, Phoenix SFX sound effects library. I don't have to select or go deeper. I just say open and now it will scan all the sound effects and he found 129 sound effects and now he's adding those sound effects to the already existing sound effects. So you on top of your normal sound effects, you will have those sound effects as well. And how it works is you can basically just now search here, for example, glitch, and it will show you the glitch effects. You can double tap and hit play and you will have your sound effect. And you can also drag and drop it here into it. But I'm also honest, this is one way of doing it. The other way, specific for projects, how I like to do it, I actually go back here into my media folder. And here on the media folder, you can also go here on top and say import folder. When you import a folder, I will show you what it does. We go now to the transitions pack and I can now select this Phoenix SF SFX folder. Don't go deeper, I'm not selecting one sound effect at, at once. I select all of them at once hit open and now under our master bin we created this sound effects folder and now you have all the folders in here so for example if I want to go to the glitch I can go in here and the cool thing about this is now every time I still see which folders that makes it easier to navigate you don't have to guess what the name is so for example if I go to elastic and also if you have a mouse or a trackpad you can just hover over that one and fast see which kind of sound it is. So for example, if we go to the whoosh sound. Very cool. So I like this way better, but you, both ways are working and that's how you can add sound effects. And then basically just simply drag and drop that sound effect under that one here and you have a sound effect. If you want this transition pack that I created specifically for the iPad, you have two options to get this. Number one, everyone in the masterclass as a student has this as a bonus. So it's part of the masterclass. So if you want to learn DaVinci Resolve anyway, just consider if you want to be part as a student. Number two, we also sell that transition pack. So if you want to have transitions, easy, smooth transitions, go to the website. I have a link in the description and then you can find that transition pack. If you like this video, hit like, subscribe, ding a ding in the bang bang gong, and we'll see us in the next video. Bye.